everyone. It's an irony that so many methods of control of fertility exist side by side with the bitter experience of infertility. One in six couples experiencing difficulties conceiving a child at some time in their lives and this figure appears to be growing. Way back now in 1978 a new technique was developed to address this problem. It's called in vitro fertilization. Now IVF for short brings the sperm and egg together in the laboratory and the newly conceived human embryo is then transferred into the mother. This has enabled many couples to become parents. <coughs> Sadly, the technique of IVF also has its darker side. Procreation does not come about as a result of the physical union of the couple in a loving act of sexual intercourse. But reproduction occurs in the laboratory. The use of fertility drugs and collection of eggs from the woman can have complications. There are often multiple pregnancies which carry health risks. Now while healthy and happy children are born, other human <coughs> embryo embryos are deliberately discarded because they have been judged unfit or surplus to requirements requirements the ability to screen embryos for genetic characteristics before transferring the ones who are thought desirable has far-reaching consequences in the future or even are now it may be possible for embryos to be selected for sex physical appearance and other characteristics Instead of being regarded as a gift, a child would then be treated as a commodity, the product of parental choice. When children are conceived in the laboratory, however sincere the motivation, some form of quality control is a very likely result. Now here are some questions you might want to consider. First, Medical advances have made it possible to conceive babies outside the womb. By divorcing sex from procreation, are we treating children as commodities rather than God's gift to us? What do you think? Second, most of the world's population believe that life begins at conception, not at birth. So does it worry you that part of the IVF treatment is deliberately discarding human embryos because they are judged unfit or surplus to requirements? Isn't that killing a baby in the womb? Third, could the process create a mentality where coupled want babies on demand or designer babies with the preferred IQ, or gender, or even physical characteristics. Is this your preference? Fourth, they say that infertility in both men and women is on the increase. Could there be an underlying reason for this situation? Could artificial contraception be causing women to be fertile? Have you ever thought about that? Last, what do you think to the situation we presently have where on the one hand thousands of babies are aborted while on the other hand couples who earnestly desire a baby are having great difficulty conceiving? What's the answer? Not easy questions in this day or age, are they? But how would you answer them? Thank you all very much for listening and God bless you all.